subscribe to boost up station if you haven't and today we are going to convert bootable usb to uefi bootable iso image so you have to download this software img burn go to the mirror 7 and download now and make sure that you have the bootable usb connected to your machine now after downloading open it up click on yes in the pop-up menu click on next accept next click on next 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 and it is just going to install it click on yes and image burn has been successfully installed click on finish now launch img burn and here we have the software so what you have to do is just click on this option create image file from files or folders and now just click on the search option browse for a folder and select the usb pen drive here we have it this is the bootable usb so just select folder now in the destination click on this browse for a file now we will be saving the iso file right here inside this folder so i have opened the folder here now i am going to name it it is paragon hard disk manager so, so that is what i am going to name the iso file bootable iso file okay now click on save now click on options from here and you need to make sure that you choose udf from here include the hidden files include the system files check mark these two options and make sure this is also check marked recursive subdirectories in the labels you can specify any label whichever you want but it is not mandatory now click on advanced click on restrictions click on udf and here you have to check mark this option disable unicode support all right now click on bootable disk and click on make image bootable and make sure you choose the option none here and in the boot image you just click on this option to browse for a file and it will open the folder that we have selected to make a bootable iso now go to the efi folder microsoft boot if you scroll down you will see this file efi sys.bin so select it and click on open now in the sectors to load what you have to do is go to the location where we have this file so i'm going to copy it the location from here and let us open a new window so here i have opened the location where we have this efisys.bin file all right so you can see this is 1440kb in size so just right click on it click on properties and now here you see this much bytes okay just copy it from here open up calculator paste it and divide it by 512 click on equal to now you get this much value so you have to paste the value here 2880 now you can close the calculator and the properties and this file manager too now in the platform id you have to choose uefi so we have made all of the settings let us check them again in the options we have to select udf recur subdirectories include hidden files include system files labels no need advanced in the restrictions udf and you have to check mark this option in the bootable disk make image bootable check mark this none select the efi sys.bin file 
select UEFI, let it be the same and in the sectors to load, you have to divide the size of this efisys.bin file in bytes by 512 and you get this number. So now we are good to go. You can just click on this option here, the image build. And if you want, you can just copy this from here and paste it right here. In the UDF, we can even make it longer like this one. If you want to change, otherwise let it be the same and click on yes. Click on OK. And it is building the file you can see. Now here we have this bootable ISO of the bootable USB for UEFI. So now you can close from here. Let me launch my VMware so that we can test this bootable ISO file whether it works in UEFI or not. So I already have created a virtual machine. Click on edit virtual machine settings. Here I am going to select this ISO image that we have just created. So click on browse. Go to the location where we have the ISO file. Here it is. Inside this create bootable USB to bootable ISO for UEFI systems folder. Click on open. In the options, let me show you advanced. I have UEFI enabled. Now click on OK. It will also work for your real machine if it works here. Power on this virtual machine and let us see. And you can see it is loading the files and it is booting up, which means that the ISO file that we have just created is a bootable ISO for UEFI systems. And here it is. It is working without any kind of problems. And you can see that we have the bootable ISO booted up. Let me close it now. And if you want to convert the bootable USB to BIOS or legacy bootable ISO image, video is in the description. And you can use this bootable ISO to create another bootable USB or with any software, whichever you want. So please subscribe to Boost Up Station and that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Now it's time to discover more. Simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more.